Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Lindsay with Evergreen Intuitive Tarot. First of all, happy holidays everybody. Thank you so much for your patience while I took the last several days off to spend time with my family, kind of recoup from, you know, dealing with eclipse season, dealing with, you know, the last full moon was pretty intense for me. I don't know about you guys, but I am back today. Today is actually going to start a string of daily readings. So I'm going to go as long as I can with doing daily readings. Now, mind you, I do have a full-time business uh, that I run. I am a single mom, so I've got a lot going on, but I am going to try my best to start posting daily readings. That being said, um, you're going to see a couple new things from me. You're going to see a couple of new spreads for all signs, but you're also going to see daily readings. These are general collective messages. Okay. So, um, I will be posting a reading every single day, which is just for the collective. It will have a title. If you feel drawn to the title, watch it. Um, <clears throat> you can reverse the roles as needed, but then I will still be posting my all signs reading, but those will still be about three or four per week, but I'll start incorporating some new spreads. Okay. So just so you know what to expect in terms of daily readings. It is a lot for me to do daily all signs readings. A, it takes a lot of energy and B, it takes a lot of time. Um, so that being said, I appreciate you all being here. Keep in mind, this: these are general messages, okay? So um, these are for all signs, Aries through Pisces, today's reading is all signs, Aries through Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If your sun sign doesn't resonate with you, check your other placements. You can swap the roles if need be. Um, it is just energy after all, and I do have several people that watch me. Um, cross watchers are absolutely welcome here. And just remember, if something doesn't resonate, don't make it fit. Just move on to another reading or reader. Um, if you're interested in booking a private reading with me, those are still open, and you can find out how to do so in the description box below, as well as if you'd like to donate to our channel. Um, if something with you in this you know video resonates with you, just give me a big fat thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to my channel. Feel free to share me with anybody that you want and hit the bell notification so that when I do post a new reading, you'll be the first to know. Guys, keep in mind also that a couple things can, can influence the energies of this reading. That would be free will and external circumstances, okay? So everybody has their own free will and can make their own choices. I am simply pulling the energies that you guys are giving to me as my subscribers and that I'm picking up between my channeled guides and the cards. Okay. That being said, let's go ahead and get started, guys. This is how your person really feels about you. We're going to pull some um, oracle cards for context, right? So kind of general what's going on. Then we'll pull some tarot cards to get specific on how they feel. And then we'll also incorporate the lyric cards. Okay. So spirit, let's get started with Aries. Let me get a little sip. Mama's already a little parched. All right, spirit, what does Aries need to know? One card, please, for Aries. One card for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in regards to them and their person or just what they need to know. You got, you can't go back to yesterday. Be in the present. So maybe um, you are feeling a little nostalgic or you're feeling a little stuck in the past or maybe a little um, stuck on someone. Maybe how things used to be. Maybe the connection has changed or ended for you guys. And it does seem that you're feeling a little stuck in the past. You can't go back to yesterday. And that's a good thing. I don't care how you feel right now. It is a good thing because something had to give, right? There's that movie, Something Has to Give. Something had to change. Something had to give. This was necessary in the connection. Okay. Spirit, can we please get two cards for the energy between Aries and their person? We have addiction. So there's codependency here, a little obsession, possession. Maybe somebody um, has a block or restraint or an actual addiction. Addiction doesn't have to be drugs or alcohol. Spirit, one more card for Aries and their person. I also feel like someone's addiction may be driven by their um, living in the past. So I heard something recently, Aries, that um, depression is when you're living in the past or being influenced or you know gripped by the past. Anxiety is being gripped by the future or being you know um, too focused on the future. So I do feel like there may be some depression here, definitely some addictions. And the dragonfly, be lighthearted, finding out things coming to light, adapt, change, and heal. So I do feel like Aries, you're in this transitional period where something has ended or something is changing. Um, I don't feel like you wanted it to change, but I feel like this was the universe stepping in and being like, look, things are not good the way that they are. Something has to give, something has to change. Um, I feel like somebody needs to have an opportunity to overcome their shadow or work on their shadow, Aries, whether it's you or your person. Um, and there are some blocks and constraints here. There is codependency here. Um, let's see what the tarot cards have to say. We're going to pull four cards for how your person feels about you. Spirit, this is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. How does the person really feel about them? Four cards, please. Two shuffles. 
like someone wants to take action, but they're feeling confused or anxious or guilty. Something is keeping someone back. Ooh, it got messy at the end. All right, this is for Aries and their person. How does their person really feel about them? Bottom of the deck, Aries, we have the Five of Pentacles in the reverse. So this is extreme financial difficulty. This is feeling very abandoned and neglected. This is also representing someone that wants to come out of the Five of Pentacles energy, right? So this is someone who wants to come in from the cold, who um, definitely I feel like is struggling, could be feeling really alone, or you could. Let's see. How does Aries person really feel about them? We have the King of Cups. We have the Knight of Swords in reverse. The Six of Wands, excellent. And the Chariot, absolutely fantastic. Okay, now I am gonna say with the Knight of Swords in reverse, somebody could have an addiction. It could be a drug addiction. Also, we could have some reckless speech or behavior here, okay? Um, someone really could be in their, especially with that Five of Pentacles in the reverse that we saw in the bottom areas, I feel like someone is really up in their head, having a lot of negative self thought patterns, having a lot of negative thinking, but let's go ahead and move through this. So your person definitely has feelings for you, but, the King of Cups isn't always this lovey-dovey rainbows and butterflies card. To me, it's someone who is capable of manipulation. Um, could be a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio that you're dealing with, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, specifically a Cancer because we have Chariot on the end here. But this is someone who may be drinking too much. Um, this is someone who definitely, um, under the addiction card, is telling me that they handle their strong emotions. This is somebody who has big feelings, okay? And they do, they're do they not very good at managing them or communicating them. They, and as a matter of fact, they really struggle with communicating their feelings. So I do feel like your person um, needs, to, needs a break, right? They need to figure their shit out. They need to learn how to set boundaries, how to respect boundaries, how to communicate, how to behave okay, appropriately, but I, ha I think that this has a lot to do with communication. I don't, I don't know if your person has truly communicated to you how they honestly feel about you or anything else in their life for that matter. I feel like they try to keep it surface, keep it light, and keep it at a level, but really there's a lot going on under the surface. Six of Wands is um, definitely, they want, to, they want you to see them. They don't want you to forget them. They want you to notice them. They want um, success. They want victory. I feel like this is um, your person also, you know, not only do they feel that way about you in terms of wanting, you know, success with you and wanting to be recognized with you, but I feel like they want to overcome whatever addiction this is. I feel like they want to confidently ride into the future because the chariot is about moving forward. Um, cancer energy talks about fourth house energy, which talks about stability, home life, comfort, coziness, family. Um, so I do feel like this person, um, hopefully they have family and friends rallying behind them. Or you, if you're the one dealing with the addiction issue. But um, this is saying, you know, everything that's that's here right now is telling me that there needs to be a lightness, but there also needs to be someone has their own shit to figure out at this time. And I feel like your person is just not a very good communicator or not very good with managing their feelings. Okay? Um, let's see what else comes through. Spirit, can we get two cards for Aries and their person moving forward? What is the energy between Aries and their person moving forward? We have trust. The situation is calling for you to trust, but it came out in reverse, which tells me that there is a lack of trust here. I don't know if maybe I'm hearing that song, um, I don't. I Can't Trust Myself With Loving You by John Mayer. One more card, please, for Aries and their person moving forward. I do feel like your person is going to successfully navigate this turbulent period in their life and they are going to move forward into stability. And I think they want it to be with you. Uh, religious factors. So there is some religious pressure here. There is some religious upbringing or doctrine or family that are influencing um, this moving fact, moving forward. But I do feel like if you are to move forward with this person, Aries, it is going to require a lot of trust and a lot of compromise, especially in terms of belief system or support. You guys might need some support within the church or within your spiritual group or within your spiritual family. Spirit, can we please get two cards? Silly me to fall in love with you. So somebody is here um, regretting falling in love with someone. I feel like you could be regretting falling in love with them or they, you. One more. We need to talk about it. Exactly. So there is definitely some communication that needs to happen, but I don't feel like this talk has been um, effectively 
uh, had with the Knight of Swords in reverse. And I feel like um, once that talk is had and your person goes through this journey or you go through this journey, whoever is dealing with the addiction or you guys need to separate for the codependency, I feel like then you'll be able to come back together and have a clear talk about, you know, expectations and standards and trust and um, just kind of put it all out on the table, right, Aries? All right, so I love that for you. I hope you enjoyed your reading and I hope it helps. Please make sure you like this video and subscribe to my channel so I can pull your energy for future readings. Aries, I appreciate your patience with me over this last week and a half. Um, and I hope to see you in your next reading. Take care. All right, next up we have Taurus. Spirit, this is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Can we please get one card for Taurus? What does Taurus need to know? What does Taurus need to know? Thank you. We have choices. Feeling blocked and restrained. So Taurus, you're feeling blocked or restrained. You're feeling limited in terms of choices. You may feel limited financially. You may feel limited in love that you may be... Um, or attracting only a certain kind of person, or you're experiencing the same kind of energy but in multiple people, or you don't feel like you have many choices, right? Um, Spirit, can we please get two cards for the energy between Taurus and the person that they're watching this reading about? That's way too many. Oh, nope, mask. That's the only card that fell out. Okay. Not showing true feelings, hiding, personifying, pretending, deluding, and gaslighting. So um, you may find that you're dealing with people that are not fully emotionally aware or available. You may be dealing with people who seem to be deceptive or hiding their true feelings, or maybe you're feeling that way. Um, I feel like some of you were in a really damaging relationship before where there could have been a lot of gaslighting or emotional manipulation. One more card for Eric, for, sorry, excuse me, Taurus and their person, we have the chaser. Chaser in a codependent relationship, fear of abandonment issues. So either you or your person have been struggling or are struggling with a um, codependent chaser mentality, which means the other person would be the runner. Somebody doesn't show their true feelings and gaslights, um, and you are feeling blocked by your choices and restrained. Also, some of you could feel stuck in a relationship and wanting to get out, okay? Spirit, can we please have four cards for how Taurus's person... Oh, hello, that's not good. Let me check the phone because that just went all misaligned and I hate crooked videos. It drives me nuts. Okay. Spirit, four cards for how Taurus's person truly feels about them, please. How does Taurus's person really feel about them? Two more shuffles. of the deck we have the ace of cups well um, that is an outpouring of emotion that is filling up your own cup so that it overflows onto others that is this big self-love energy you could be dealing with a cancer pisces or scorpio um, there's love there is love here this person definitely has big feelings for you i feel like there could be tears shed here um there the moon cycle is standing out so i don't know if uh, some of you may be feeling extra emotional right now, or maybe your person is feeling extra emotional right now with the, the eclipse cycles and the full moons and the new moons and all that. But let's see. How do they feel about you? Two of swords, undecided and blocked, nine of wands, kind of at their wits end, but still have a little bit of fight left in them. King of cups with that ace of cups. Wow. Big feelings here, but I, again, I don't feel like they're showing their true feelings. I feel like because they're damaged and hurt from the past and the Page of Pentacles in reverse. Hmm, interesting. Um, yeah, I feel like your person does have feelings, but it's like their fear of abandonment or their fear of rejection um, is keeping them stuck, okay? Um, it's keeping them from, from truly fully expressing their feelings for you. It's keeping them from really even being able to understand their own feelings about anything in general, let alone you. Um, I don't think that they know what to do with these feelings, Taurus. Um, I feel like there definitely could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, could be a child involved here or even a loss of a child. And I'm so sorry if that's the the case, I certainly hope it's not for any of you, um, but there could be a loss of money here. So I don't know if maybe there was an ending here and there was a financial loss, um, but the Page of Pentacles in reverse talks about um, lack. It talks about um, revoking an invitation. This is being, this is owing someone an apology, but not being willing to show up, not being willing or able to offer anything of value. 
Um, I feel like this person may not feel worth your time or worthy of you. That's also Page of Pentacles in reverse with the King of Cups. Big feelings, but they don't think that they have the goods. Okay, it's like they don't feel like they have enough. They don't feel like they have the goods. Um, and they're feeling really kind of overwhelmed and blocked. All right. Um, Spirit, moving forward, what is the energy between Taurus and this person? Moving forward, two cards, please. What is the energy between Taurus and this person? Moving forward, what is the energy between Taurus and this person, please? Two cards. We got soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. Now remember guys, soulmate does not necessarily mean forever and does not necessarily mean life partner does not necessarily mean this is meant to last. Um, a soulmate basically is someone who's here to help teach you lessons, who's here to be kind of a stepping stone or a milestone in your life. We have multiple soulmates. It doesn't have to be a lover. In this case, I definitely believe it is. Um, but a soulmate can be anybody. It can be a pet. It can be a teacher. It can be a friend. It can be a, a parent. But in this case, I do believe it's love. But I feel like this person is here to help show you your own value, to help teach you lessons, and to help you kind of move into the next era of your life. Um, one more card for Taurus and this person moving forward. I do feel like there is still going to be a connection here because soulmate came out for the future. What else can you tell us, Spirit, about the future energy between Taurus and this person? And then we have express your love. Exactly. Like I said, I don't feel like this person feels like they are able to show their true feelings. So I feel like in the future, somebody here is going to be expressing uh, their love and making a romantic gesture, um, actually communicating it. I feel like the pull maybe is like so strong, this King of Cups, Ace of Cups energy that it's like somebody, something has to give something very similar message for Aries as per the usual. Spirit, two cards, please. Lyrically, what is the energy moving forward between Taurus and their person? Oh, got two on the floor. We have, it has to end to begin. Great lyric from the song Numb by Sia. And I love you, you love her. Very interesting third party energy. Um, maybe someone here is stuck, you know, is, is hurt from a past relationship. That's why they feel so guarded. Maybe you feel like this person still has feelings for somebody else, or maybe you still have feelings for somebody else. But this says it has to end to begin, which talks about, um, the song is talking about addiction, actually. Um, but this talks about, you know, every, uh, what is that semi-sonic song? Every new beginning comes from some other beginning's end. So I don't know if this connection has to end in order to transcend and go to the next level, or if this has to end so that you guys can move on and find your perfect mate, or if something else has to end so you guys can come together. That could be a third party or an addiction, okay? Taurus, that is your reading. I hope you enjoyed it, and I certainly hope it helps. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so I can continue to pull your energy for future readings. As always, Taurus, I love you and I appreciate you being here. I will see you in your next reading. Take care. Gemini. How's it going, Gemini? Spirit, this is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. One card for what Gemini needs to know before we get into this love reading. We have uncertainty. Choose who you will become. So Gemini, you're being presented with an opportunity right now from the universe to redefine yourself, okay? Um, you are the author of your life. You are the co-creator of your life with the universe. That being said, I feel like a lot of you are feeling uncertain now, either because of um, the ending of a relationship or maybe a new job. This is just a transitional period for you. Spirit wants to remind you that this is an opportunity. Um, fear not, for I am with you. That is from an old school Christian song. Um, fear not for I am with you. So just know that um, your intention is everything right now. If you are going into this new season of your life by default without any intention, that is what you're going to con continue to experience will be uncertainty. However, if you take that energy, right, all of that uncertain energy and you channel it, channel it into being intentional with how you want to move forward in life, exactly what you want, the universe is more likely to show up and meet you there and provide those things for you. So choose who you will become. Are you going to make new choices this time around? Around because that's what it's about. You're, you're going to keep getting the same shit, the same people, the same situations, the same lessons until you make different choices. You're being called to do that now. Spirit, can I please have two cards for the energy between Gemini and the person they're dealing with? Thank you. We have soulmates. Okay. Soul connection, partnership agreement, and soul contract. So there is someone that you have a soul contract with, very strong connection. 
and talking. Interested, conversing more, a weighted message arrives, text, call, email, and hovering. Someone is, is hovering over their phone, waiting for their phone uh, to go off, waiting to hear from somebody. I don't know if someone is waiting to hear from you or if you're waiting to hear from them. Um, I feel like at this time you're being provided with an opportunity, Gemini, to not hover. If you're the one hovering, the universe is saying stop. Focus on who you want to be and stop focusing on who this person is is or how they're going to show up or wondering or, you know, just stop. You're wasting your energy. Um, but I do see a soul connection here, so it, there's no wonder. I mean, it makes sense that you're waiting to hear from this person or they're waiting to hear from you. This is a great connection. Spirit, can we please have four cards for how Gemini's person truly feels about them? Thank you. This is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Two more shuffles. How does their person truly feel about them? You could be dealing with a Libra or have that in your chart with the Justice card. Ooh, Three of Swords and Justice. If there's been any heartbreak or pain or unkindness, it is being dealt with karmically now. Spirit, this is for Gemini. How does their person truly feel? Bottom of the deck. We have the Nine of Cups in reverse. Unhappy, displeased, unsatisfied. Could be drinking too much, could be spending too much money or overindulging. Spirit, four cards. Page of Pentacles in reverse. This is revoking an invitation or offer. This is not able to show up, not able to contribute. This is also could be kid problems, um, specifically earth sign child. Um, this is lacking money, lacking value. Hanging man, Pisces energy, waiting, stuck and waiting. Stuck and waiting. The star, hope and healing, wish being granted. Mm, I feel like maybe it's your person waiting to hear from you. And the Six of Pentacles. Reciprocation, give and take, could also be child support here with the Page of Pentacles on the end. Gemini, I feel like your person doesn't feel good enough right now. They don't feel like they have anything of value to give you. Okay, I don't feel like maybe they don't have time. Maybe they don't have money. Maybe they don't feel like they are worth you, worthy of you. Hanging man, this person feels stuck. Um, these two cards next to each other represent a, la a loss of money. Page of Pentacles in reverse, and then if you look at the hanging man up close, you see the coins falling out of his pocket. He also looks very uncomfortable. He does not like being there, okay? Uh, he's like, what the fuck is going on? So, Jim, and I feel like your person either feels like you're struggling financially or they are struggling financially, and it's keeping them from coming towards you. You could be de also dealing with an Aquarius or have that in your chart. Uncertainty, financial unsecure, uh, insecurity, and unsure uncertainty. Why am I having a hard time talking about that? But here's the thing. I feel like if you guys would just have a freaking talk about money, you know, name the drama. What is it here? Is it, you know, somebody doesn't feel like they're getting enough time or effort or energy? Talk about it. Does somebody feel like they don't have enough money to, um, maybe they don't feel good enough? Talk about it. I feel like there's a discussion that needs to be had that will clear things up. There is hope and healing coming through here. This person definitely considers you a wish, uh, a wish fulfilled. And I definitely feel like they don't have you because the bottom of the deck was the nine of cups, which is kind of a wish not being granted. It's, 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 it's feeling lack. And this is definitely not lack. So I feel like um, your person definitely is hoping for more reciprocity, is hoping to be able to, maybe they don't feel like they can take you out, wine you and dine you like they feel like you're worthy of, but the communication is fire or um, the connection is fire. And I do feel like there is going to be some balance restored here. I do. I feel like there's going to be more reciprocity, more give and take. I feel like somebody may be working on their budget or trying to um, get some, uh, feel like money is coming in. There's going to be a little bit more balance here. Things are looking good. Money's coming through big time for this. Um, Spirit, can we please get two cards for Gemini and their person moving forward? What is the energy between Gemini and their person moving forward, please? Two cards. One more for Gemini and their person moving forward. We have make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. You know, finances are, are temporary, but something like this could be forever. Chemistry, exactly like I said, there is a strong connection here. So I feel like whoever's not feeling good enough or whoever feels like they're having money problems just needs to speak up or deal with their shit or talk about their shit like somebody who just needs to accept things for what they are right now and move forward. Okay, because I feel like this connection could be lost for nothing. For what? A little bit of, you know, somebody's a little broke right now. Like, that's not permanent. 
Somebody may also be waiting for the right time. Maybe they feel like you need to do some healing or they need to do some healing. Spirit, two cards for the energy between Gemini and the person moving forward. Got two cards. Let's wait a while before we go too far. So this is someone wanting to wait, wanting to say, hey, you know, I'd really love to take you out. I'd really love to give you more of my time and energy, but right now I'm not able. And maybe you guys could fuck it up if you, um, you know, if you push too hard or try to rush things. It's walking the fine line between making an effort and staving off a connection because you don't feel your best self. But you know, a lot of people are under the assumption that you have to heal to get into a relationship. I say bullshit. You attract the levels of relationship that you're ready for energetically, right? You're emitting a frequency at all times and you're getting like an echolocation. That's the energy you're getting back from other people. So it's like, you guys can heal together. What's most important is you find somebody who resonates with you in terms of wanting to grow and wanting to be better. Anyways, nothing compares to you. I feel like maybe um, someone has tried to look elsewhere. I don't know if it's you or your person, but it's like they can't, nothing compares to you. Stuck on you. I'm hearing stuck on you in the way I feel, da, 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 whatever. Gemini, that's your reading. I hope it helps and I certainly hope you enjoyed it. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so I can continue to pull your energy for future readings. As always, Gemini, I love you very much and I appreciate you being here. Thank you for your patience with me this past week and I will see you in your next reading. Take care. Spirit, this is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What does Cancer need to know, please? What does Cancer need to know? We have painting the roses red. We are covering up errors. So I feel like someone here, Cancer, and it's you, is trying to cover up your mistakes. Maybe you're having a hard time owning up to some mistakes. Maybe you don't want to see the truth. Um, this can be a little bit of delusion. This is a little bit of um, insecurity because you feel almost like performance anxiety or you feel like if someone found out the truth about you or if, you know, this could be trying to cover up your tracks. Interesting. Spirit, can I get two cards for the energy between cancer and the person that they came to this reading for? Some of you are trying to paint something out to be better than it is. Could be on social media, could be in conversation. We have hammer. Sabotage, huh? Rebuilding, interrogation, repetitive, persistent, and working on it. And then we have not today, not dealing, hurt, avoiding a conversation or call or person, boundaries, and still angry. Cancer, some of you guys are trying to hide the fact um, that you are just fucking over it with someone. Um, it's like you don't want to deal with them, but you also are avoiding healing. Twin flames on the bottom of the deck. Um, I feel like this is whatever this self-sabotage is, whatever this um, pain is, whatever this energy is, this is not new. This is something that has been going on for some time, okay? You're, you're, you're covering things up that you need to express. You need to own up to whatever mistakes you've made and you need to accept things exactly the way they are and not try to paint them a different color, Cancer. Cancer or Spirit, can we please get four cards for how Cancer's person truly feels about them? How does Cancer's person truly feel about them, please? Two more shuffles. So I'm gonna do this kind of shuffle real quick just to switch it up. And I am taking reversals today, so I wanna give it a little freshening up. cards wanted to fall out so we have the moon in reverse so we do have stuff that's hidden um some fear every, you know not everything is as it seems which makes sense because you're painting the roses red so i feel like you're you could be misleading someone even unintentionally okay yep cherry in reverse stuck on the past okay let's cut these cards cancer how does your person truly feel about you overall energy Oh my God, this is the third time that this has come out and this is the second time it's been on the bottom of the deck. Page of Pentacles in reverse. Not feeling enough, not having enough money, having financial issues. This could be struggle over a child, uh, an earth sign child specifically. 
This could be someone who is very immature and wastes time, wastes money, has debt. This is someone who could revoke an invitation or an offer or somebody owes someone an apology. How do they feel about you? Queen of Wands, Knight of Swords in reverse. That also came out for Aries. Chariot card now upright and the Hierophant. Okay, could be dealing with a Cancer, could be dealing with a Taurus and this is also um, your card, of course. Okay, so this person feels like you're very attractive, but I don't feel like they think that you um, are truly showing your true colors. And I say that because the Queen of Wands can sometimes be a bit of a smoke show, okay? And what I mean by smoke show is she looks really good, but she knows how to work a room, okay? She can, she can manipulate, and I don't mean that negatively. I mean that um, in terms of like a salesman way. Um, she's good at pitching. She's good at, um, you know, ducking and dodging opposition or rebuttals. Um, the Queen of Wands is just very crafty and very attractive. But the Knight of Swords in reverse can be a little reckless, um, can be sometimes a liar. Um, the Knight of Swords in reverse can be unclear communication or unable or unwilling to communicate. Chariot card upright. This is forward movement. This is divinely timed movement. This is home life, stability, comfortability. Hierophant, Taurus. That's God energy, that's source energy. That someone here is connected to God and I feel like it might be you. Um, this person I think wants a higher level of commitment with you, but I feel like you're not able to give or not willing to give because of either being hung up from hurt with this person, person in the past or you're still hurt and hung up from something else in the past that you are not fully examining and healing because you're just trying to make do and make it look good for everyone else and you're not dealing. Uh, you are self-sabotaging. And I feel like your self-sabotage is coming from not clearly or accurately communicating your feelings or your needs. You are not setting boundaries. You are not communicating your boundaries. This person wants more with you though. They still find you attractive, but they definitely realize that you have some issues around boundary setting and communicating your feelings. I feel like this person does want to move forward with you though. But cautiously, cautiously, for sure. Cautiously. I feel like this might be a good thing for you. Um, so just get rid of the paint, Cancer. You don't need to paint the roses red. They're white and they're fine that way. Like, accept yourself for exactly who you are and where you are. Because I feel like this person does. But the more you try to paint the roses red and pretend things are what they are not, you're keeping yourself from the, the highest levels of satisfaction and happiness. Spirit, two cards for Cancer and their person moving forward. Whoa. Two cards for Cancer and their person moving forward, please. Uh, I got three and I'll take all three for you because I feel like maybe you need it. <laughs> It is safe for you to love. Exactly. I feel like you feel damaged. You feel like something I'm getting damaged. I hear damaged goods. Somebody feels like they're damaged goods. You're not fucking damaged goods. Your, your white roses are perfect the way they are. You don't need to paint them red. I'm hearing Roxanne. Roxanne, you don't have to turn on the red light. It is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all without fear. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations and stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Okay, I feel like you do need to, um, it's hard to be optimistic when you're constantly fighting, accepting where you are. So keep an open mind, open up and stay optimistic. Spirit, two cards for cancer and their person moving forward, please. Open up the pit here. Clearly, I listened to metal with, I can't believe I just said open up the pit. <laughs> oh, I need it. I, you know, I can't do a mosh pit anymore. I have too many injuries um, from my car accident a couple years ago, but I would love to go watch a good, like a good mosh pit where there's like regulation, Travis Scott. Oh, that, okay. Hello, Travis. Oh, Lord. Anyways, let's open up the pit for these cards. That got wildly off topic. Moshing is good when it's done safely. Okay. Two cards for cancer and their person moving forward, spirit. Destroy everything you touch. So someone has some resentment. 
I feel like maybe you feel like this about yourself or maybe there's someone blaming. Cancer, do you feel like you destroy everything you touch? I really hope not because you certainly don't. You are very good at making people feel safe and cozy. You build a beautiful home. You're very, you have a huge heart. You're very caring. So most of y'all can cook like a motherfucker too. There will be no unguarded kisses. So we're still getting a guarded energy here. If you're thinking of letting me go, then it's time that you do. So again, Cancer, I feel like if you're in a connection that you want to get out of, you need to speak your boundaries, set your boundaries, speak your truth. Okay. So that way you're not harboring resentment and you're not living a lie. If you are disconnected from someone, and you don't want to be, I feel like you need to, once again, speak your truth, express yourself, keep an open mind and stay optimistic. If you are separated from someone and you want to be separated from them, I feel like now is the time to break the habits and break the patterns of self-sabotage and accept exactly where you are. Forgive yourself, forgive them, accept yourself and um, stay positive and move forward. Try not to be too guarded but definitely getting a guarded energy, okay? All right, Cancer, that is your reading. I hope you enjoyed it and I certainly hope it helps. Make sure you give this video a big fat thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel so I can keep pulling your energy for future readings. As always, Cancer, I appreciate you being here. I love you. I appreciate your patience this last week and I will see you in your next reading. Take care. All right, Leo, you're next. Let me light some more incense. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I got my hoodie on. It's hoodie weather. Very cold in my state today. Cold for me, at least. Unreasonably cold. Okay, Spirit, this is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What does Leo need to know, Spirit? One card for Leo. You got two impossible things, working through disbelief, imaginative leaps and fresh perspective. So you're going through a really hard time right now and you're being called to be innovative and um, pursue fresh perspective. Believe strange encounters. So um, you're being called to trust that everything happens for a reason. It is. I feel like you're going to meet the right people at the right time. Uh, things are going to kind of fall into place for you especially um, if you're able to navigate this energy well, this impossible things energy. I feel like something happened uh, or is happening that's hard to believe or hard to process and you are needing fresh perspective so that you can move through it and believe strange encounters. Do you, I feel like some of you have been getting weird signals or messages or seeing angel numbers or had some synchronicities and that is the universe trying to get your attention. This is validation of that. Um, Spirit, can we please get two cards for the energy between Leo and their person? What is the energy between Leo and their person currently? Okay, you got the butterfly. Relationship evolving to the next phase, healing the inner child and growth. One more card for the energy between Leo and their person, please, Spirit. And girl talk. Time with friends, moving on, happily single, living in the moment and having fun. So some of you could be transitioning into the single life. Okay, um, maybe it was unexpected. It could have been just a sudden ending. Um, so you guys are kind of transforming. You're in a painful process of transformation right now. But if you believe that it happened for a reason, if you lean on your friends and family for support, if you try to find the good in being single or you try to really stretch your legs and lean into this experience, I feel like you're going to meet someone that's going to fucking freak you out or some, some weird synchronicities are going to be happening that are gonna make you understand that this was fire for your highest good, okay? Spirit, can we please get four cards for how Leo's person truly feels about them? Thank you. Two more shuffles. How does Leo's person truly feel? How does Leo's person truly feel, Spirit? four cards. Bottom of the deck, overall energy, we have the page of swords in reverse. Ooh, so this could be um, stalking you online. This could be talking shit. <laughs> 
Um, this person could be telling people untruths about you, uh, the person that you'd recently broke up with. Um, if you are not in a breakup situation, I feel like there is someone who is stalking you or spying you, spying on you or trying to keep tabs on you. This is someone who could be a little bitter. Um, this is someone who is afraid to actually communicate. They're a little bit of a coward. Um, this could also be a child energy. So an air sign child, Gemini, Aquarius, Libra. How do they feel about you, Leo? Taurus energy with the Hierophant. Four of Cups. Eight of Cups. And three of Swords. Oh, wow. So there was definitely um, a very, there was an offer for a relationship made or an offer for a relationship to move to the next level and someone turned it down. Someone rejected it, someone um, ignored it. It was either you or your person, okay? Could have been a Taurus that you were dealing with. But Leo, um, I feel like this rejection caused someone to walk away and walk in a different direction. They were like, okay, well, either you or this person, I'm not gonna stick around for more rejection. Or, <laughs> someone got bored in a relationship and decided to leave, okay? Maybe your person just up and left the relationship. Maybe they were bored. Maybe they, uh, I don't know. But Eight of Cups talks about leaving something that's not emotionally satisfying. Three of Swords, energy, pain. If they hurt you, they know they hurt you and they're hurting too. But I feel like um, hurt people hurt people. So I feel like, uh, Leo, if your person hurt you, it's because they're hurting. Now, if you rejected this person, they are hurting really badly, but I feel like they're moving towards happiness. But like I said, if somebody left you or rejected you, they know that you're hurting, they know that they hurt you. They know they did. But maybe it was, you know, like I said, maybe it was for your greater good. Maybe you needed to go through this so that you could come closer to what you truly are called for or who you are truly supposed to be connected to. Spirit, what is the energy between Leo and this person moving forward? Two cards, please. What is the energy between Leo and this person moving forward? Worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life, just like I said, and free yourself. Yeah, I feel like uh, maybe you're stuck on this rejection, stuck on this ending. Um, divine timing is at work. The divine allowed this to happen, Leo. The divine allowed this to happen to show you what you want, what you don't want, what you know you're worthy of. I feel like you're a different person now than you were when you first met this person, okay? It's time to take back control of your life. This wasn't the best fit. It may have been a sudden ending. There may have been heartbreak and rejection attached, but clearly it's better to find out now you know, then be dragged through this for a longer time than necessary. Spirit, two cards for the energy between, or the energy between, can, uh, sorry, Leo and this person moving forward. What's the energy moving forward between Leo and this person? Some of you could be tempted to reach out to this person because you're feeling lonely. And I would say, don't talk to your friends, go have fun, live in the moment and move on. If your girl only knew, so this could have been a third party situation where someone chose someone over you. I think about you all the time. So this person is still heavily on your mind. You're still heavily on their mind, but I feel like this is something you need to break free from and you need to trust that the divine is going to bring you something that feels just as intoxicating, but is less toxic, okay? All right, Leo, that is your reading. I hope you enjoyed it and I certainly hope it helps. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel so I can continue to pull your energy for future readings. As always, Leo, I really appreciate you being here. I appreciate your patience this last week, and I will see you in your next reading. Take care. All right, Spirit, next up we have Virgo. <clears throat> this is for Virgo. Oh, hang on. Let me check something real quick, guys. Hang on, hang on. Um... Okay, let me check this. Okay. All right, great. All right, Virgo. This one slid right off the top without me touching it, so I'm gonna look at it. Impossible thing, so you could quite possibly be dealing with um, something that has you in a, uh, a sense of disbelief, but let's pull your own card. Spirit, one card for Virgo. What does Virgo need to know? One card, please. 
such a curious dream, grounding, returning to reality and coming home. So some of you could be coming out of a connection or maybe you met someone or maybe something was really dreamy and it's like you're being, you're having a reality check. Okay. This is like, um, the moon next to the ace of swords or the moon in reverse. This is, um, needing to ground yourself, needing to come back to reality. Some of you could be returning from a vacation, right? And having a, some, you know, have you ever heard that saying Virgo? Like I need a vacation to, to recover from my vacation. Um, some of you could, you know, you could be dealing with that just in your personal life. But I feel like for most of you, you're dealing with a connection that may have you confused or may have you um, out of your element or needing to ground yourself. You could be way up in the ethers and spirit is begging you to go walk in the grass barefoot holding some malachite or, you know, a dark or brown or black crystal and ground yourself and meditate and just remember who you are, why you're here and that this person is not the end all be all, um, that you still matter too. You are very important as well. Um, what you need, who you are is just as important as who that person is. Uh, that's a channeled message of whatever, what comes up comes out. All right, spirit, this is for Virgo and this person. Can you please give us two cards for the energy between Virgo and the person that they came to this reading for? Two cards for Virgo and this person. Maybe one day I won't be as aggressive of a shuffler. Oh Lord, stabbed in the back and then I like you. Goodness gracious. Now, Virgo, for some of you, I feel like you're dealing with someone that could love bomb. This could be a narcissist. Um, this could be someone that like causes pain um, and then um, is like, you know, they figuratively speaking, will like knock you down and then give you a Band-Aid. Um, for others of you, I feel like you were stabbed in the back by someone, could have been a friend, could have been a lover. Uh, it was shocking uh, with that disbelief card that we pulled in the beginning. I feel like something ended or something um, like a separation or some kind of heartbreak came suddenly. It was unexpected. Um, and I feel like now you might be connecting with someone new um, and Either you or them are probably still dealing with heartbreak from the past, but also I feel like this person has you all up in your head, all up in the ethers. Um, someone does like you, romance is blooming, and there is flirting and wanting to date. Just remember to stay grounded during this process, okay? That's very important, Virgo. Spirit, can we please get four cards for how Virgo's tr person truly feels about them? Thank you. Two more shuffles. Last shuffle, Virgo. Some of you may be comparing people. Let's try not to do that. All right, overall energy, Virgo, for how this person feels about you. Bottom of the deck, we have the chariot. Could be dealing with a cancer, could have cancer in your chart. I feel like this person really likes how you keep your house. Uh, if they've been to your house, um, I feel like they feel safe with you. Um, they do want to move forward with you. And I feel like this is a divinely guided connection. I don't know how far it's supposed to go or how long it's supposed to last, but the chariot card tells me that it's cozy. It's comfortable. Could be family involved here. You could be meeting each other's families. Could have met through a family member. Anyhow, let's see four cards. Wheel of fortune. The wheel is spinning divinely timed connection or happening the strength card two major arcana back-to-back -back leo energy you could be on the cusp or dealing with one three of swords ouch and the fool in reverse ah once bitten twice shy i see so the fool in reverse can be a little bit foolish but it's also a little um hesitant to take a leap right um it's it's hesitant to start over it's hesitant to start new um, I feel like there could have been some heartbreak between you and this person. Somebody may want to start over. Maybe the time is better. The time is right. It would require um, bravery and strength and courage. There could also be some pride and ego in the way. Um, Virgo, would this person hurt you? I feel like it's because of their ego. This person could have a gambling problem. I feel like um, someone here is hesitant to move forward or start over because of some deep heartache, quite possibly from a Leo or a Sagittarius. Wheel of Fortune is a Sag card for me. Dare I say this person that's coming through for you, this new person may be able to flip this energy around for you. I feel like this could be a healing connection, but a lot of you, I feel like, um, I feel like you're, you're, you're keeping people at a distance because you're still hurting. 
feel like you may be harboring some unforgiveness towards someone and it's keeping you from wanting to start over or move forward, okay? Spirit, what is the energy between Virgo and this person moving forward? Um, I feel like whatever they did was fucking foolish. Whatever they did to hurt you, let your friends help you. So rely on your friends at this time. Ask for and accept support from others. I always say this, asking for it is hard, but accepting it is even harder. Don't let your pride and ego get in the way of asking for the help that you need. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. And I feel like your usual type Virgo has gotten you here a lot, you know? Um, so maybe it's time to try something or someone new. Spirit, what is the energy between... So basically, I feel like it's definitely over with this past person. Whoever caused the pain, I feel like um, it's time to move forward and, and meet new people. Two cards for the energy between Virgo and this person moving forward. It's time for you to be brave. It's time for you to have courage and put yourself out there. Don't be led by fear and pain. Be led by optimism and hope. Rely on your friends and family. Someone does like you, but you may be too hurt to see it or you're too scared to give them a chance. Something like that. Two cards, please, for... Virgo and this person, thank you. So we got, your heart's a mess, you won't admit it. Hmm, interesting. And heavy like the force between us. So there is gonna be someone with whom you're gonna share some deep chemistry or a big connection. Make sure that your heart's not a mess so you can see it and accept it. Because uh, right now I feel like you've got some funky stuff to work through and heal from. Um, but you can heal in a new relationship. A lot of people say you can't, you can. You just both have to be on the same page in terms of healing and the progress that that would take. Um, it's time to do some healing. It's time to let go and get past this past hurt. Okay, Virgo, I love you and I hope that helps. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so I can keep pulling your energy in future readings. As always, Virgo, I deeply appreciate you being here. I love you very much. I appreciate your patience with me over the last week and I will see you in your next reading. Take care. All right, next up we have Libra. Spirit, this is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What does Libra need to know? What does Libra need to know, Spirit? What does Libra need to know? You got no need to fear. Remember how powerful you are, Libra. Some of you guys have lost sight of how powerful you truly are. Some of you are feeling scared or defeated or worried. Do not let fear drive you at this time. Spirit, especially in love. Spirit, what is the energy between Libra and the person that they came to this reading for? Two cards, please. The golden mirror, self-absorbed narcissist, one-sided relationship and love bombing. So either you have been loved bomb or you have been love bombing. Love bombed or love bombing. Ascending, transcending obstacles, learning, expansion, new phase, preparing for union. Um, I feel like some of you Libras have been in a situation where there has been um, some codependency and some narcissism, whether it's from you or for some, from someone else. If you are the narcissist, Libra, I feel like it's out of fear. I feel like you are, um, you are exerting your power in an unhealthy way and you need to remember that you are inherently powerful. You don't need to manipulate. If you have been gaslit and love bombed by someone else, I feel like this has you in your feelings. You don't feel like you're worthy. You're constantly frustrated. You're worried to move on and start over new, but remember how powerful you are. You do not have to take this treatment. You are transcending these obstacles at this time. I feel like you and this person are learning and you could be coming back together. If this has been, if there's been a separation, you could be reconnecting with this person. Hopefully there has been some healing, but you never know. Spirit, can we please have four cards for how Libra's person truly feels about them? Thank you. Someone may have been keeping their options open or may have been confused with the seven of cups that I just saw. Libra, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Four cards for how their person truly feels about them, please. I'm hearing, baby, take your time, get it right, da 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 do it tonight. Okay, I've never channeled that song before. Overall energy of how they feel about you is Knight of Pentacles. 
So this is someone who's reliable or thinks you're reliable. Um, this is a slow but steady offer. This has been slow moving, slow going. Um, it's taken a long time to get here, but I feel like whoever this is, is someone that you can trust and someone who's stable. Love that. Knight of Wands in reverse. Oh, okay. Six of Swords. Yeah, we're moving on. Moving on from the fuck boy energy, fuck girl energy. Yep, moving on from the narcissist and the love bombers. Ace of Pentacles, moving towards stability. Oh my gosh, but you've still got some fear. Would you fucking look at that? Would you fucking look at that? But you are moving through it. I feel like there's someone coming towards you. Truly, Libra, I feel like there's someone coming towards you that's going to um, set strong boundaries with you, is going to understand you, really hear you, really feel you, really listen to you, someone that you feel like you can trust. Um, cause you, it's like, I see you moving towards this ace of pentacles. This is the stable new beginning. This is from the divine. This is, um, unmistakable, unmatchable. This is reliable. This is trustworthy. The moon, hidden fears. Things are not always as this, as it seems now. If it's this past person, if it's this narcissist, this knight of wands in reverse. Okay. The wand was for everyone. If you know what I'm saying, if it's this person coming back, they are going to make you an offer that's going to look very, very good. And you are going to want to move towards it. I don't know if you should. Now, use your own wisdom, judgment, intuition. If there's been healing, if you guys have transcended the obstacles like this says, great. If this is a new person, great. But if it's this past person trying to make you an offer you can't refuse, I feel like things are not as, as they seem. Could be dealing with a Cancer, a Pisces doesn't have to be. Spirit, what is the energy between Libra and this person moving forward? What is the energy between Libra and this person moving forward? Two cards, please. What is the energy between Libra and this person moving forward? Calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. So some of you have manifested this new connection or this reconnection. And then let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. So some of you may need um, some friends' advice. You may need somebody to smack you up over the head and be like, bitch, don't make the same mistakes. Or you might need your friends to be your wingman. Or maybe you um, need your friends to help you start dating again or you know, um, work through your fear and your obstacles. You are calling in your soulmate though. Spirit, can we have two cards for the energy between Libra and this person moving forward? You know, the more boundaries you set and the more you communicate yourself and the more self-value you have, the better soulmate you're going to call in because you only call in soulmates at the level of frequency that you are, okay? I just saw you know I can't let you slip through my hands, so I do feel like this person is going to reach out. This past person, the narcissist, they may love bomb you. They may make you an offer. Too many cards. Spirit, two cards for Libra and their person moving forward. Someone could even offer to like give you money, like a moth to a flame burned by the fire. And we need to talk about it. So I do feel like this person is approaching you. Knight of Wands reverse, Six of Swords. We need to talk about it. Um, I do feel like you have an opportunity to be very clear about your expectations and your standards, Libra. Um, and I feel, but I do feel like there's this insane draw either between you and this past Knight of Wands narcissist or this new person. There's a very strong draw, but there needs to be conversation. There needs to be communication here. There needs to be communication, clear communication. Decide what you want so you can clearly communicate it to the people you're dealing with, Libra, okay? And fear not. You are more powerful than you can possibly imagine. Libra, that is your reading. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope it helps. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel so I can continue to pull your energy for future readings. Libra, as always, I deeply appreciate you being here with me. I love you. Thanks for your patience this last week, and I will see you in your next reading. Take care. Scorpio, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Spirit, what does Scorpio need to know at this time? One card for Scorpio. Thank you. We have a moment's regret nostalgia, idealizing the past, and fearing you've made a mistake. This is the six of cups in reverse kind of energy. Being stuck on the past, Scorpio, you may feel that you have chosen wrong. Um, I feel like for some of you, you are exactly like it says, idealizing the past. Um, you know when a woman gives birth, 
Okay. Um, it's extremely traumatic and it's painful and it's, it's a borderline horrible experience for a lot of women. But the reason that we have more kids is because we tend to idealize the, the, um, you know, our brains release chemicals that help us forget the actual pain. I feel like that is what's going on here. There is a sense of separation here. I do feel like you and this person are apart and you're feeling some potential regret or feeling like you may have made the wrong choice. Okay. Or you could be waiting for them to realize that they made the wrong choice. Spirit, what is the energy between Scorpio and the person that they came to this reading for? Thank you. Two cards for the energy between Scorpio and their person. You got three. Okay. You got the butterfly. You got the Grim Reaper, which I saw before, and you have engagement ring. This could have been an ending of an engagement. Somebody else could be getting engaged. Relationship evolving to the next phase, healing the inner child and growth. This relationship is over. No second chances. Grow and transform your life. And then engagement, partnership, commitment, eternity, completion, and union. I feel like this relationship is trying to evolve, but because you keep holding on to how you think it should have been or could have been, it can't. Um, I'm hearing Hold On Loosely by... Um, Oh, who is that by? Hold on loosely. Is that by yes? I don't know who it's by. Anyways, uh, the Grim Reaper. So something here is over. Something is ended. Now, Scorpio, you could find out that you broke up with someone and then they went and got engaged to somebody else. Or this could be your relationship coming back together and evolving. We'll find out more, but there has been an ending here. But I feel like holding on to the past and idealizing the past is not doing anybody any favors, especially you. Spirit, can we please get four cards for how Scorpio's person truly feels about them? Please and thank you. Could we be dealing with an Aries or someone of an emperor type, that archetype. Two more shuffles for Scorpio. Could be dealing with a Sagittarius or be on the cusp. Overall energy, we have the Three of Cups, okay? I don't know if it was reversed because it spun around, but I'm just going to take Three of Cups. So this could be a, could have definitely been a third-party situation. Um, somebody could have been committed to someone else and you got involved with them, or maybe you were committed to someone else. But this could also be reunion. So let's find out more. How does your person feel about you? King of Swords, there's that ending. Seven of Wands, blocking, defensive. Three of Wands, Expectation, Arrival, or Departure, Two of Cups. Wow. This is some very, very interesting energy. So King of Swords talks about emotional detachment and logical. Seven of, Seven of Wands is taking a position, standing your ground, being defensive, even blocking communication. Um, Three of Wands is... Um, either waiting to arrive or depart. This is a decision has been made and we are moving forward. And Two of Cups is a compatible union, seeing eye to eye, and it's a beautiful love connection. It's right under the engagement ring. Um, honestly, Scorpio, I feel like half of you are reconciling and reconnecting with this person and it's gonna go well. For the other half of you, I feel like you're idealizing the past and that it is not what it is in your head, is not what it really is. Um, and they're moving forward in another connection. But this is how they feel about you. So maybe they fucked up and they want to come back around. I feel like your person could have fucked up. And they're waiting to be given another chance. Maybe there was some, you had blocked them, right? And maybe because there's been little communication or not clear communication, it's easy to ideal, idealize the past but I feel like this person could quite possibly be coming back around. For those of you um, that that's not the case, if you really don't feel like they're coming back around or you just wish they were, but there's been like no communication at all, I feel like this person could very well um, be connecting with someone else and it could be moving very, very quickly, okay? What is the future energy between Scorpio and this person, please? What is the energy between Scorpio and this person moving forward? This is how we're gonna know whether it's you or, or someone else. What's the energy between Scorpio and their person moving forward? Thank you. 
Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectation. It is safe for you to love and engagement. Are you kidding me? Yeah, I feel like you're getting engaged. Holy shit. Yeah, your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Holy shit. I don't know if it's who you expect though. Wow, some of you, this really could truly be a reconciliation. Maybe you guys just need to have a really good conversation. Somebody needs to unblock somebody, that's for sure. Spirit, two cards for the future energy between Scorpio and this person. Some of you don't trust this situation anymore. Destroy everything you touch. And if you're thinking of letting me go, then it's time that you do. This could be an impending, like I said, an, an impending ending. This does feel very up and down. If this is a reconciliation with someone, I feel like it's good one day and then it's bad the next. I feel like there's some resentment. There's some blame here. But I do feel like it could quite possibly be moving forward into an engagement. I just don't know if that's necessarily what's best for you. Um, I would be careful, uh, Scorpio. I almost called you Libra. I would be careful, Scorpio, that you are not ideal. At, uh, getting yourself into a situation like an engagement or marriage because you're idealizing the past. Just be very, very honest with yourself, King of Swords. And then make up your mind and stick with it. And be willing to move forward into the future. Okay? Use your own wisdom, judgment, intuition. But this looks very interesting. That is your reading, Scorpio. I hope it helps and I hope you enjoyed it. As always, I love you and I appreciate you very much for being here. Like this video, subscribe to my channel so I can continue to pull your energy for future readings. Um, thank you for your patience this last week. I hope your holidays are going beautifully. I will see you in your next reading, Scorpio. Take care. All right, next up we have Sagittarius. Spirit, what, do, what does Sagittarius need to know at this time? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. One card for Sag, please. What do they need to know? There it is. Impossible things. Working through disbelief, imaginative leaps, and fresh perspective. So Sagittarius, I feel like you may have gone through something that was unexpected or sudden. Um, you are still working through the disbelief and you are being called to take a fresh perspective and to come up with imaginative or creative solutions at this time. Spirit, what is the energy between Sagittarius and the person that they came to this reading for? Two cards, please. You got three. Okay. You got the sword and the rose, clarity, truth, revelation, solidarity, force, honor, protection, and power. You got Cupid's arrow. They're telling me not to take this one because these two came face up. Have faith, love is coming, surprise invitation or meeting, and hesitation. Uh, Sagittarius, I feel like you're either going to be inviting someone by surprise, or for most of you, I feel like you're going to get a surprise conversation. Um, I feel like this person is going to reach out and express their love or their fondness for you. Uh, you could be in disbelief about this, um, for others of you, I feel like um, you are working through a separation or a painful ending. And because you are not letting it bring you down, you are getting the clarity and truth and closure that you deserve. And also there is love coming for you. You are going to be getting a surprise invitation or message or meeting, but it will be met with some hesitation, maybe because you feel like you're still healing from something here. Spirit, can we please get four cards for how Sagittarius this person truly feels about them, please? Thank you. For Sagittarius, how does this person truly feel? Four cards, please. Thank you. Overall energy, bottom of the deck. Pay, oh, seven of swords in reverse. This is that clarity and truth. Somebody has something to be honest about. I feel like somebody's gonna be coming clean. Somebody's going to be exposing themselves or exposing the truth. Someone was up to no good. And someone's going to be coming forward and offering clarity, truth, and asking for forgiveness. This could be an apology. This could be changing one's ways. This could also be extreme sneakiness. Like someone was just like a whole nother person if that makes sense. All right, Sagittarius. Two of cups. God damn, not bad for the first card out on how this person feels about you. 
Eight of Wands in reverse, not able to communicate, not able to communicate, not able to travel, the world travel, um, successfully completing a karmic cycle. This is success and victory, also Sagittarian card. And the Two of Pentacles in reverse. Oh, I see Sagittarius. So either you or your person has been stuck in limbo. There's someone, okay, someone is very in love with someone here, okay? But something else was not complete. So I feel like you, uh, Sagittarius, you or your person has, kind of, you guys have been in this limbo, right? This two of, two of Pentacles energy. Two of Cups, Two of Pentacles in the reverse means finally making a clear decision on who you want, what you want, what direction you want to go in. This is lacking direction. This is clarity and truth, okay? This is clarity. Um, there is a connection here, Sagittarius, that is the most compatible, that is the most um, loving, that makes you feel like you can fly. Um, however, I don't know if the time was right for you guys before. So I feel like maybe something shocking, something has, has suddenly ended, or there has been some sudden clarity or truth that is going to drive this relationship in the complete opposite direction. It's like you met somebody, you fall in love, you're not, not able to move forward, something ends, and all of a sudden you're able to make a choice and focus on one thing instead of juggling two. That's for you or your person. Spirit, what is the energy between Sagittarius and this person moving forward? What is the energy between Sagittarius and this person moving forward? Two cards, please. You could be dealing with another Sagittarius with the world card here. One more card for Sagittarius and this person moving forward. This is future energy for them. Thank you. We have chemistry. There's a strong magnetic connection here and reconciliation. Yeah, so I feel like this is right person, wrong time. You guys either had a falling out or an ending in the past, may have been sudden or shocking, or maybe you guys can come together now because something else has ended, if that makes sense, okay? It could have been like a third party situation or somebody needed to get their finances right, or somebody had to move, or somebody had to be able to travel, or somebody needed to complete something. Anyways, I do feel like there is a reconciliation between the two of you coming, and this is a connection that neither one of you had been able to get over. Two of Cups, Chemistry, Sword in the Rose, my God, Cupid's Jesus Christ. Uh, Spirit, two cards for the energy between Sagittarius and this person moving forward, please. There was a period of time here where there was no communication or very little communication or you guys couldn't see each other, but that's changing. I'm hearing, take some of this off of my plate. Somebody's plate was too full and it's lightening up now. Two cards for the future energy between Sagittarius and this person, please, Spirit. Thank you. Way too many, but thank you. Two cards. We have... What do I do when there's too much of me, too little of you? So somebody felt like they were overgiving. They were, they were the ones constantly showing up in the connection and the other person was tied up elsewhere. It was imbalanced. Two of Pentacles reversed. One more card for Sag in this person, please. Future. like a moth to a flame burned by the motherfucking fire. Exactly. Definitely could be dealing with a fire sign or a Sagittarius. Um, this is something that looks like, um, I keep coming back to you. No one compares to you. Yes. The timing wasn't right before, but it's like this, it's a, it's a very strong magnetic attraction and it's coming back around Sagittarius. I hope you enjoyed your reading and I hope it helps. I'm excited for you. I hope it goes well. Um, please like this video and subscribe to my channel so I can continue to pull your energy for future readings. As always, Sagittarius, I love you. I appreciate you being here. I appreciate your patience this last week, and I will see you in your next reading. Take care. Capricorn. Sorry, that was really weird how I said that. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is for Capricorn spirit. What does Capricorn need to know at this time? What does Capricorn need to know at this time? We got uncertainty. Choose who you will become. Capricorn, you are being given an opportunity to co-create, to be a co-author of your life. Some of you guys are being given the opportunity right now to hit the restart button, the reset button, to redefine who you are and how you present yourself in love or to the world in general or at large. Um, some of you guys have been living a lie um, and, and not necessarily 
because you want to, but maybe because you felt too much pressure to be a certain way or you felt um, the expectations of other people, kind of like living dogma, right? Um, but you get to choose who you will become. Do you want to, you know, um, live a life of integrity and character and love and, you know, honesty and transparency? Or do you want to live a life full of, you know, never really reaching for your goals, or your dreams, never really being fully authentic in love, never really fully connecting with someone, fear, that kind of thing. It, the choice is yours, Capricorn. You're getting a chance to redefine yourself at this time. Spirit, what is the energy between Capricorn and the person that they came to this reading for, please? Currently, what is the current energy between them? Two cards, Capricorn and this person that they want to connect with or that they are coming to this reading for. We have cassette, outdated thinking, conditioning, replaying events over in your head. Exactly. I feel like some of you are clinging to an outdated way of thinking or an outdated doctrine or outdated expectations from friends or family or maybe a boss or maybe a past love relationship. You're replaying things over in your head and you're keeping yourself stuck. One more card. Some of you could be listening to audio clips that you've saved from your text messages with someone. I don't know. That's way too many spirit, but I appreciate your enthusiasm. One card for Capricorn and this person. Come on, one more. Please and thank you. Thank you. They're like, sure, you can have it, but... Oh, Capricorn, are you the runner? Runner in a codependent relationship. Fear of intimacy, listening to your ego. I feel like now you have the chance or the opportunity to change that, Capricorn. What are you going to do with it? Spirit, what is the energy? I'm sorry, not what is the energy. How does Capricorn's person truly feel about them, Spirit? How does Capricorn's person really feel about them? The person that they came to this reading for. One more shuffle for Capricorn. Four cards for how their person really feels about them. Bottom of the deck, overall energy, we have... Queen of Cups in reverse. This is emotionally manipulated or manipulating. This is emotionally withdrawn. This is withdrawing care, withdrawing nurturing. This is avoiding emotional connection. I feel like there could be someone here, maybe they were the chaser in this dynamic Capricorn that feels like they don't want to chase anymore. I feel like someone here has withdrawn their love, care, nurturing, affection, and attention. Spirit, how does this person feel about Capricorn? Queen of Pentacles. Okay. Wife and mother energy, 10 of cups. Interesting. Justice in the reverse. Somebody could be facing uh, ending a long-term relationship or divorce. Four of swords in the reverse. Someone wants to come out of hiding. Someone has been really quiet Somebody's been working on their money and their uh, their um, their sustenance, their self reliance. Someone's been working on their coins. Someone's been working on their health. Someone has been working on their emotional healing, their emotional health. Um, someone feels like there was an injustice done here. Could be dealing with a Libra. Okay, um, there was an unjust thing done or said here. There, there was a lack of balance. There was a lack of justice, and that is going to be um, healed. Four of Swords in the reverse is coming out of quiet and silence. This is like, it's time to go. It's go time. It's time to move. Four of Swords in the upright is take a rest, take reprieve. This is resting. This is recovery. This is recuperation. This is thinking about it. Um, Four of Swords in reverse is get up. It's time to go. So I feel like maybe uh, now is the time for this connection to truly uh, build a stable foundation. Whatever uh, was done karmically here is being paid back. Um, Capricorn, I say that, and then I look under here, and I see justice in the reverse under un uncertainty. So some of you could be waiting to hear about a lawsuit or a settlement. Some of you could be waiting on a divorce to be finalized or waiting for a legal document, waiting for some kind of legal process to happen here. But just keep in mind, Capricorn, that the, sows, the, the seeds that you sow will be the crops that you harvest, okay? You reap what you sow. Keep that in mind. Um, this person thinks that you 
are a hard worker, that you are, um, I want to say reliable, but then spirit saying no. I feel like um, this person feels an emotional connection to you, but they don't feel like you were in a place to give to them before or vice versa. But I feel like we're coming out of injustice and we're coming out of quiet and we're coming out of confusion here, coming out of uncertainty. Spirit, what is the energy between, I feel like somebody with the 10 of cups can often be idealizing or being dreamy. So somebody may have idealized this relationship and then come to the realization that it wasn't equal, wasn't fair. What is the future energy between Capricorn and this person, please? Two cards. Capricorn and their person, future energy. Okay. Stay optimistic about your love life and new love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings and positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. So Capricorn, make sure you're not st being stuck up, you know, um, held up by the past anymore. Make sure that you're doing right by people. Make sure that you are communicating clear boundaries to the people that you're involved with. I feel like a new person, um, new meaning like, it doesn't have to be like yesterday. This could be someone from the past, but it could be a new beginning with this person. Um, but stay optimistic, stay optimistic. Hmm. Spirit, two cards please for Capricorn and this person moving forward. I'm hearing no love allowed by Rihanna. I'm seeing the letter R. We have, I was on fire for you. Where did you go? Somebody could have ghosted someone or somebody could have suddenly ended something. You know that I'm proud and I can't get the words out. So somebody wants to communicate, but they don't know what to say because they're struggling with ego and pride. Just seems like a big misunderstanding here. Truly, it just seems like a big misunderstanding. Like one person is not able to truly communicate their feelings and the other person is like yo i would have the the part after this is i could have died for you how could you not know um so i feel like maybe this is unrequited on some level maybe someone was too focused on their money or maybe somebody was involved with a committed relationship elsewhere but i feel like there needs to be a talk there's going to be communication and if there's not then there's new love coming in that's gonna be more trustworthy and more certain and more balanced, okay? Capricorn, that is your reading. I hope it helps and I hope you enjoyed it. Please like this video, subscribe to my channel so I can continue to pull your energy for future readings. Capricorn, I love you. I appreciate you being here and thank you for your patience this last week. I will see you in your next reading. Take care. All right, next up we have Aquarius. Let me light some more incense. Aquarius, how are you doing? Long time no see. See how I hold my incense like a cigarette? Jesus. Ratchet, I tell you, ratchet. All right, Spirit, this is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's do this, y'all. Yeah. Let's do it. All right. Spirit, what does Aquarius need to know at this time, please? Whoa, that's a lot. One card for Aquarius. Okay, there you go. All in the golden afternoon. Inspiration, creative spark, imagination, and conception. What a very Aquarian card. Those are all very Aquarian attributes. You guys are so innovative and inventive and creative. Um, I feel like at this time you're feeling, um, you're using your imagination. I feel like you are conceiving your possible future. Some of you are dreaming about your future life. You're really manifesting at this time. You're setting your intention. You're trying to find creative solutions. I love that for you. Spirit, what is the energy between Aquarius and the person that they came to this reading for? Two cards, please. Present energy for Aquarius and their person. Two cards. All right, so somebody could have been a narcissist here. We have heartbroken and the golden mirror. So some of you are trying to creatively or some of you are trying to um, get creative or be inspired to get out of this 
um, heartbreaking, narcissistic connection that you were involved in, Aquarius, okay? Um, you were dealing with someone who would love bomb you. It was a one-sided relationship. They were self-absorbed. It was all about them and what they wanted and what they needed. You were deeply hurt by this person, sad. There's a separation and a breakup, feeling lost, grieving and mourning. And Aquarius, I feel like you um, are being called to, if this isn't your energy currently, spirit is asking you or, or um, imploring you rather, to um, use your imagination, get inspired, find your creative start, find your creative spark, create some art, create new things, create new. Creation is healing. Um, take your take your broken heart and turn it into art. That's what I'm hearing. Spirit, four cards for how Aquarius' this person truly feels about them, please. One more shuffle. How does Aquarius' this person truly feel about them? Overall energy bottom of the deck, Aquarius, we have the Hermit in reverse. This person wants to come out of seclusion. Uh, if you guys have not been speaking uh, or if somebody went into hiding, I feel like somebody wants you to um, come out and play. I'm hearing that song come out and play by um, Offspring. But this is also, I feel like you could be dealing with someone who is refusing to go inside of themselves inward and do the healing, okay? Somebody who's avoiding healing here. Full in reverse, Aries energy. This is foolish decisions and being uh, gun shy about moving on. Taurus energy with the Hierophant. So you have Aries and Taurus right next to each other. Four of Pentacles. Holding on, holding back. The Miser, Queen of Wands. Yeah, you are being called to create and focus on yourself right now. This person um, did not give you what you wanted. You wanted something higher level. You wanted something committed. You wanted something um, stable. And this person was not able to either because they kept making foolish decisions or they were just unable or unwilling to start fresh with you. They were holding on to something or you were holding back. Somebody was holding back their time, money, resources, feelings. Queen of Wands, this is you stepping into your own power, Aquarius. Um, some of you could be, could have been involved with someone who was involved with someone else. Maybe they were in a higher level of commitment and you were the queen of wands. You were the other person. Um, and I feel like that was to feed their ego and that this has now ended. Yeah, I feel like this person never really showed up for you in, in their fullest capacity. It was like breadcrumbing, love bombing, all the narcissistic shit that, you know. We're all too familiar with these days, Aquarius. Spirit, what is the energy between this person and Aquarius moving forward? Future energy. Two cards. Thank you. Moving forward between Aquarius and this person. Whoa, you got three and I'm going to take them all. We have codependency. Ah, exactly. Heart to heart conversations and calling in your soulmate. So I feel like there, you may need to have a hard discussion, a difficult discussion with this person or even with yourself, Aquarius. Um, there's some honesty that needs to be had here or given here. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. So there is a codependent uh, runner chaser dynamic here, very narcissistic and empath kind of thing. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. Now, Aquarius, if you keep manifesting this shitty person back into your life, this narcissist, if you keep idealizing the past or fantasizing about them, you are keeping yourself bound to them. If you shift your focus and you get creative and you start turning your broken heart into art, I feel like you're going to call in your actual soulmate, somebody who's not going to treat you like this, okay? Spirit, what is the energy between Aquarius and this person moving forward? Two cards. Future energy. I'm minding my business. I ain't doing nothing wrong. Yeah, I feel like you're going to be keeping to yourself like that Virgo, like that hermit card that we saw. Keeping to yourself, learning, creating, studying, healing, minding your own goddamn business and creating a, a more intentional life for yourself. 
and you're banging on a heart of 10. Yeah, so someone here is or was emotionally unavailable and will continue to be that way. So I feel like even if you do reconnect with this person, they still have not done the healing that they need to do and they're still holding on to pain from the past that's keeping them emotionally unavailable. So I feel like your best bet would be to mind your own business, uh, call in your actual soulmate by focusing on yourself at this time, focusing on your own power and getting creative, okay? Turn that broken heart into art. Love you, Aquarius. Like this video and subscribe to my channel for future readings. I hope this reading helped and I hope it resonated with you. I hope you enjoyed it. Aquarius, as always, I love you. I appreciate you being here. Uh, like this video, subscribe to my channel so I can pull your energy in the future. I appreciate your patience this last week, and I will see you in your next reading. Take care. All right, next up we have Pisces. Spirit, what does Pisces need to know at this time? We have shine bright like a candle. You will make it through this. Pisces, you're going something, going through something really troubling right now, really emotional right now, really painful, and you will make it through this. Take your broken heart and turn it into art. Just like I told Aquarius, she's holding a paintbrush and a, um, what are those called? Easel? Is that an easel? I feel there's a technical name for it. But anyways, uh, you will make it through this and you will come out brighter on the other side. I feel like anything that you do, anything that you create at this time is not only going to help you work through this and help you heal, but it could also um, become, you know, you could become known for your art. Uh, I say that because she's got the painting in the background, The Starry Night, which is a world famous painting. Um, so I feel like, you know, using this pain and get cre getting creative with it will help you heal. Spirit, what is the energy between Pisces and the person that they came to this reading for today? Two cards, please. Current energy. We have the golden mirror. So you're dealing with a narcissist that love bombed, breadcrumbed, emotionally unavailable, one-sided relationship, self-absorbed. One more card for Pisces and the person. And hammer, self-sabotage, or sabotage, rebuilding, interrogation, repetitive, persistent, and working on it. This is somebody that you went back and forth with for some time, but it always turned out the same way. And now I feel like it's over, over, and you are going to move through this with grace and beauty and healing. You're going to heal, and you're going to come out the other side of being blinding. Two more shuffles for Pisces. How does their person truly feel about them? How does Pisces person truly feel about that? Thank you, spirit. Bottom of the deck, overall energy, four of cups. Ignoring, rejection, boredom. So they may have rejected you. Seven of swords in reverse, they did some sneaky shit or they were very, very opaque and dishonest. Nine of wands, they were very guarded, made it like pulling teeth trying to connect with them the chariot and the ace of pentacles. Yeah, I feel like they may come back towards you and try to make you an offer, but I don't think you should fall for it. I feel like this is just repeating another cycle. Uh, they may want to move in together. They may want to help you, you know, give you some money or go into business with you, invest in you. Um, I feel like they're going to turn it around and make it seem like they're willing to give you another chance. Um, but really they're being manipulative, manipulative, and I feel like you're gonna see right through it. But they do have an intention on coming back around. They do. Um, they may even apologize for what they did or said, but I feel like you should keep your guard up and I feel like you should really contemplate if this is something stable and worthwhile. Use your own wisdom, judgment, and intuition on this one, okay, Pisces? What is the energy between Pisces and this person moving forward, please? What is the energy between Pisces and this person moving forward? Future energy, two cards. Stay optimistic about your love life. Don't get jaded. And codependency. Yep, I feel like you recognize that this is just another codependent cycle. This person is addicted to the highs and lows. Maybe you were addicted to the highs and lows. There could be actual addictions affecting this uh, connection. But positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. And uh, working through your broken heart by making art or creative, uh, sorry, creating things will help you heal and will move you closer to a much more satisfying and reciprocal relationship. Spirit, can we please have two cards for the future energy between Pisces and this person? You know you can't hold me forever. So somebody here is acknowledge acknowledging that this was temporary or doesn't want something permanent. The song is Goodbye Yellow Brick Road, if that means anything to you. 
If your girl only knows, this definitely could have been a third party situation, Pisces, um, where you ended up being a codependent other person. It's been back and forth, on and off, hot and cold. This person would love, love bomb you, breadcrumb you. Um, they could even quite possibly be living with somebody else, but I feel like you are seeing right through it and you are making different decisions this time around and you are working through your broken heart with creativity and creation and self-love and grace and that you're gonna come out on the other side of this making wildly different decisions which are going to yield wildly different results, okay? Pisces, that was your reading. I hope it helps and I hope you enjoyed it. Like this video, subscribe to my channel so I can pull your energy for future readings. Pisces, I love and appreciate you a whole lot. Thank you for being here. Thanks for your patience this past week, and I will see you soon. Guys, remember, if you want to book a private reading, uh, you can email me by checking the description box below. Thank you for being here. Thank you for your patience. I will be posting this video today, and I will also be posting a general reading. Uh, like I said in the beginning of the video, that will be the daily. It will be um, a daily general message for the collective every day. And then I will still be posting three to five videos a week for all signs, but I'm gonna be adding some new um, spreads to that. So guys, thank you for being here. I love you very much. I will see you soon. Take care.